Hi everybody, uh, welcome back to the tutorial. I wanted to skip ahead a little bit with this uh, because I think you get the idea of how I put on base coats and washes. So the only thing I've done since is I've added some Militarum green to some you know odds and ends and I put on some Fenrisian gray and gave it a gnome oil wash. So we're just gonna cut to the highlights here. So we started off you know, with our matter brown And it's kind of, it's still a little early in the morning, so the lighting is not perfect in here, at least for the, through the camera. Uh, for me, it's pretty good, but it just isn't coming quite across. So for our first kind of red highlight on the matter red uh, color by Foundry is we're going to do their kind of normal red. I can't remember what it's called in the the problem with these foundry paints is they have a sticker on the top like this one you know that says what the paint is it's come off for this red and I, I don't know what it, what it was and the tops break off too but I still kind of prefer pots to the squeezer bottles I mean I have plenty of squeezer bottles but I still kind of prefer the pots Anyways, so my brush has got a little bit of water on it. We're just going to kind of do our first highlight here. And this color is a little, you know, translucent, I guess you could say. And that, I think that's a good thing in this case. This is not a red that I would use uh, directly over black. If you're painting with a, uh, a black primer, what I would do if I was painting from black is I would actually undercoat the area that was going to be red with um, brown first. And this matter red by Foundry works quite well as a, a brown. So that was just kind of our first highlight and it looks sort of glossy through the camera because of the um, the light which is shining on it and the paint is wet. But it's actually not gonna dry glossy. It's actually gonna be kind of a darker brown, a darker red, excuse me. So I'm gonna quickly put that highlight on the rest of the miniatures and then we'll be right back. So now we're gonna put one more highlight on the miniature. We're gonna be putting on Wild Rider Red. And we're gonna be using this very sparingly, just on kind of the highest uh, areas of color, basically. The, uh, the more, sorry, the most raised areas. And this is actually a color I quite like. Uh, and you can see I kind of mix paint companies. I use Vallejo, Foundry, uh, Reaper sometimes, as well as um, Reaper, you know, Citadel, the Games Workshop ones, Foundry, Vallejo, I use all of those. And I have certain colors that I lo really like from each one. So again, you know, the lighting is not great for the camera right now, but hopefully this is kind of coming through. And I kind of, you know, I just use this very lightly to kind of bring out some of those raised areas, like show some of the, uh, the definition here on the chest and the edge of the sleeves. And, um, yeah, you know, you can get, be kind of selective where you put this on too. And I'm, I'm not doing the best job here just because of the, the cameras in my way a little bit. Oh, and we forgot to put our our secondary color on the back here, but that is that's okay.
So that was a really quick highlight. And, you know, I that's all I kind of go for with these rank and file miniatures. Um, I don't think you really need to do more than that. You know, this could benefit, I think, from maybe one slightly uh, higher, you know, one more round of highlights, just applying them even less, just a little bit on the chest and on the sleeve. But I'm going to leave it at that for the red. So I'm going to do the rest of the guys red and we'll get back. So our next step here is we're going to be highlighting the gray. So we're going to be using Fen Region Gray again. And this is, you know, I put a base coat of that, put a wash of Nuln Oil over it. And then I'm just going to go back over a little bit with the, the original color. And I'm not even going to be doing it um, for the pants, for the trousers on some of these guys. Uh, just because you, you can barely even see the trousers when they're all ranked up. So... <clears throat> Just getting a little bit of water on the brush here. And yeah, this is something that, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go over the cloaks and the tunics here. Just kinda putting a little bit on those, those raised areas. And this guy actually had a Kind of a torque on or something but i just ended up kind of painting over it i might go over it again in bronze because at the time i thought you know i might might just save myself some work And these figures are, you know, nicely sculpted enough that, you know, they kind of have some of the, the muscle coming through the shirt. That's something I want to try and capture a little bit with this, this round of highlights. So, I mean, it doesn't add much, but it adds just enough, I think. And actually, I'm going to put a little more right here. All right. So I'm going to go put the rest of the, the highlights on the remaining figures for the blue, and we'll be back. All right. So now for our final and probably the most important stage. So we're going back over the flesh with Rin Flesh. And this is just a, a kind of a highlight focusing on the nose, the forehead, and the cheeks. So I think, you know, the face is probably the most important part of any miniature. And I th think it always pays off just to put that little, you know, extra highlight on there. And I'm really trying to leave as much of the, you know, original coat as possible on there. And I'm painting a little differently with the camera, you know, the way I hold the brush and paint these details in. But, you know, I'm really just trying to put in the edges of the the forehead, the tip of the nose, and the cheeks. And this is a, this I think is a skill that kind of pays off. It's pretty, I mean, this is pretty simple to do. But it really adds a lot to the finished miniature, just a, you know, a thin line down the nose and a little on the cheeks there. And I, you know, this guy is kind of annoying. He got a little bit of the wash on his beard. I don't think it's the biggest deal. I'm not gonna bother like redoing that. 
and I get, you know, I gave, I think I might, might have forgotten to include this stuff, but I gave all the steel stuff a little wash. And here, you know, the primer's kind of gotten into his face a little bit. Just give it a little dab there. But I think that extra highlight really ends up adding a lot to the finished miniature here. And sometimes I do it on the hands as well. I don't always, though. All right, so there you have it. That's kind of the, the end of my Viking painting tutorial. So I've gotten 70 of these guys done, actually. Um, and I'm not doing the shields yet because I'm gonna do the shields when I base them. So there is the completed Vikings. Taking me a couple, just a couple of weeks to do those. And then I got some more that I am shifting from uh, a, an element style base to, uh, you know, smaller block bases. And then we got the next project as well here, the winter Germans. So yeah, take it easy and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.